corner. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he powers his way up past the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Second down, Kamara. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Leaves this one with Kamara. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Now they'll throw with Breeze. Bryant with a catch right side. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Got it. Breeze looking to throw on third and two. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. First connection there of the afternoon for those two, and it's good for a first down. to the ground. It's Camara, And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Grady Jarrett with the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here we go. Over. Breeze to throw on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Well, the defensive guys won't be real happy because there won't be a sack on this play because he did get back to the line of scrimmage. But what a job they did overall. Hemmed him in and gave him nowhere to go with the football. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. From the gun, it's Breeze. It's caught by Bryant. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 
And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. Timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 23. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. They'll run with Freeman here to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Second down, here's Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. This one complete to Devontae Freeman. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Oh, he had six points in his hands there, couldn't hang on. Second down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. Again on second and ten, it's Ryan. Swings it out to the flat for Freeman. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it third down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Ryan. And he's got some. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this, and hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem I, I to didn't want it. I didn't offer mine. Yeah, you, were, you were the <laughs> smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. They'll run here with Freeman. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons are in for six. 
and they're able to run it in. It started with the battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Ready. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. Ready. Now a pitch out to Kamara. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Kill, kill. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. So from the 36 now, first and 10. to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. On second down, here's Breeze. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. You know, early on this year, we thought that Michael Thomas might threaten Marvin Harrison's record of 143 catches in a season. Didn't quite get there, but he did lead the NFL CD, 125 of them. And he's smart enough to make sure he's attached at the hip with his quarterback, Drew Brees, and they connected us. And he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. After the interception, here's Ryan. And that's going to go as a loss of six, and it'll set them back for second down. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now Ryan on 
on second down. Gets it off to Freeman. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. to his right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. So we are at halftime here in Atlanta with the Falcons out in front. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, the Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Ryan to throw. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. Trying to get the offense going with Kamara. Got a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Throwing on second down. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good pick up there, a 22. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing go. part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. yardage here knocked back to the 19 yard line that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down 
And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. Hey, you waiting? Five, five. Got it. Five, five. Again, it's Camara. Camara's got the first down and then some. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. Scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. surprising they wouldn't go for two but this is up and good and we are tied at seven so we're right back where we started all even as the kicks away this is taken about seven yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So out come the Falcons now. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And got his man complete. That one goes for 36 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make a play on the football. On first and 10, it's Ryan. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan in there to sack him for a loss of six. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Second down, Ryan. Here's Sanu on the catch. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it, because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Looking downfield for Jones. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, 39 yards. And the Falcons are in for six. Here's Bryant for the extra point. Bryant's extra point up and good. 